What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Times. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. Welcome to the show. Welcome. So definitely continue to tune in throughout the week. So Monday and Tuesday are topics. Wednesday is a discussion, all of which were really good this week. They're always good, but these ones were exceptional, all right? Chef's kiss to these ones. <laughs> <laughs> and then Thursday is uh, uh, Ask a P, where I talk to somebody who's trying to break into cybersecurity. But Fridays are always reserved for everything else. So we typically try to not talk about cyber too much unless we're studying for something, which I need to be, <laughs> but I'm not. But I'm, I'm sure we got it in on the movies and TV shows and things of that nature. So with that being said, how's your guys' week been? And mine's, mine's been pretty good. I haven't been, uh, I've been home mostly. Actually, I took a trip out to, uh, actually went up to Oregon for a little bit for work. I hung out there for a little bit. Actually, I had a, had a pretty good time. Uh, you know, do some work and then I got to check out the sites a little bit. But uh, besides that, you know, um, while I was traveling, I got to watch, actually, no, actually on this trip, actually, I read a book, a book that I read. Uh, I read this book, it's called You're Invited. Today's a book, uh, book club day. Uh, You're Invited, the Art of Science of Cultivating Influence. Uh, but I got this, actually got this from work, but I actually read the book. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Just talking about like, um, uh, just like cultivating influence and just like being able to, uh, uh, I guess, establish connections with people. And things of that nature, but it's, it's a pretty good read. But uh, uh, I want to bore you guys with book club stuff. But uh, actually, I watched some some content lately. Uh, I watched the uh, there's a there's a series on Netflix called um, Midnight Mass, which was pretty good. Um, I say like I say I like majority of it. I think the ending wasn't as good as I was expecting, but it, it wasn't bad. But I was expecting to be something a little bit different. But uh, it was actually a pretty good series. It's about basically this this small town that's living on an island, and uh, they're all like churchgoers. And then, um, not trying to reveal too much, but some things start happening where like some some uh, uh, maybe like this 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 creature or this angel appears in the town, and people are like uh, start kind of like praising it, like I've it's some sort never of never like, heard of this before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's actually it was it was in the top ten at one point in Netflix. But is it kind it, of fell is off. It, is it in the UK or something? It's not, no, I think it's, it's, not the US. it's all US based. Is yeah, it? I, think it's oh, all US based. I definitely never heard of it. Okay. Yeah, Midnight Mass. Um, it's just a it's a small limited series that's only what seven episodes. Okay. Um, and so it's a pretty quick, you know, view. You can you can know you can uh, marathon it over afternoon or whatever. But uh, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's pretty good. I, I think it's worth watching. I think uh, I think maybe even Shannon might might like it. It has enough. Uh, I don't know. It has enough suspense and like it's kind of very intriguing, but maybe not enough action though. It's not like a big action thing, but it's definitely like some some killings yeah. and things like that awesome. nature, some some death and some blood and all. It's kind of gore. okay, okay. Um, <laughs> it happens every now and then, but it's uh, it's pretty good. And so uh, watch that. Watch the latest season of Tiger King. Um, I'm not sure if you guys checked that out yet. No, I have not. Because I'm like, <laughs> what do you do? Right, right. What are they going to talk about? Like, what do you do? we we know Carol Bassett did it. I haven't even I haven't even seen the first one to be honest with you. I never oh, even it, 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 may, it may not be as good to you. Like in, in the midst of a pandemic, it was hilarious. It's just like you had nowhere else to go, you were there for it, and like every episode you were on on the edge of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> right. So like right. my my wife watched it. I, I did not though. I watched the trailer and I was just like, this doesn't really appeal to me, like a crazy guy. <laughs> A crazy guy very with big ridiculous. cats. Like I'm like, eh, whatever. It's it's, very it's pretty like, yeah, it's pretty good though. I mean, at least the first season was really good. I think sex seems is, is is good too, but it's definitely like in a whole different like uh maybe spectrum. It's like this one's more focused oh. on the people involved with Joe Joe Exotic and like uh Carol Baskin and then like some of the lawyers trying to figure out what happened to Don Lewis and uh we know what happened other... to Don Lewis. Yeah, right. Yeah, we know what happened. <laughs> we know what happened. Don Lewis is so like I, I read up some on it. Is Don Lewis is he Carol Baskin's husband that they can't find or whatever? Yeah, like, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The ex-husband and she has a new husband now, but he, yeah, he ran away. Right, right, <laughs> disappeared. Uh, as man. as all her as all her cats got fatter. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Bellies got bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
You got some bones in the poo poo. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that was pretty good. And then I watched uh, uh, a series called You um, on Netflix. It's a You. Okay. It's like, a, um, I, I think I told you about it yes, uh, last week, Ryan. But basically, just like, it's kind of it reminds me of like Dexter a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this guy's not as like righteous, I'd say. He's definitely like more, uh, I guess, say a little bit more evil, but it's, he's still kind of entertaining. So maybe kind of root for him, or you kind of like, I like want to see how he's gonna get out of the situation um because he's like he's basically like killing people um it makes me mostly killing like well yeah killing people um mostly female women but it's also guys too but uh he's just like it's like it kind of narrates the the series himself like you hear his like his voice in his head as he describes like oh oh this woman he like he looks on some girl's facebook and it's like oh her facebook is wide open this means that she loves she must love uh, uh, the attention. She likes all the, the people looking at her and seeing her in, in, in these different outfits. And she's all, in, you know, uh, and then he's like kind of analyzing, he's psychoanalyzing these people from their like their Facebook okay. and social media and their, their habits around walking around the sh- streets and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. And then he kind of finds a way to develop a relationship with them. And then he's like, you know, they don't know about his past history and all this kind of stuff. And sometimes he kills people. Sometimes he just lets them go or whatever. But it's uh, it's kind of interesting how it plays out. But. I think it was a pretty good series. I I, I enjoyed it so far. It's sick. I think it's in its third season now. I think they're probably gonna have a fourth one, but um, we'll see. But uh, besides that, I played some games. I played a little bit of uh, Psychonauts two. I'm not. I've actually completed that one. Finished okay. that one off. It's actually pretty fun. It's it's a good series. A good a good uh, a good game. But uh, completed that one. I'm working on Yakuza two. I'm playing the hell out of a. Uh, Halo Infinite on uh, Xbox. Yeah. PC. That one's been like on my one of my main games lately. I've really been enjoying that. It's something something fresh, something new, something to get away from Destiny for a little bit. Um, but I think this has been like some of the main things I've been up to as far as like the content I've been watching. Um, what about you guys? You guys been up to uh, much this week? So so <laughs> because I was getting over my sickness, it was more of TV watching me than me watching TV. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this yeah, past week, yeah. this past week was a little bit better, but like for the for the past few weeks, it was a matter of, you know, I I, I would throw something on and then like within minutes, I'm like, all right, let me fall asleep a little bit. Let me just rest my eyes, right? Right, then, right. <laughs> rest my that eyes. for a couple hours, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yep. like I didn't I didn't watch too much. Um I know I like I missed the last couple of weeks. So like some of the stuff I did watch, I did watch Red Notice. I know you guys already talked about that. Um uh I watched Red Notice. I watched uh, I did watch the Hawkeye series. Oh, I the Hawkeye. Yeah, I watched that. That yeah, they yep. they dropped they dropped two episodes instead of the one. Um mm-hmm. I liked the first episode better than the second one. The second one seemed like it kind of trailed off some, but at the end of that one, it seems like okay, this is where they pick up, right? Right, right. Um, so We'll see what happens. And I think I looked on IMDb. I think they're only doing six for this one because it's it's almost an hour for each one. I think it's like forty five minutes to fifty minutes or whatever. And uh, what's his name? Yeah. Kevin Kevin Feige. Feige. I don't, how do you pronounce his name? I, I, I don't Feige. Know Feige. 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 Yeah. So he he says like do like six hour about six hours worth right will be good for a, a, a mini series. So I think they're only doing mm. six six episodes because like. The ones that were 30 minutes, like WandaVision was like nine episodes, but they were only like 30 minutes, right? right. So you get clo- you get close to that that six hour mark um that he thinks is good. So we'll see where they go. They they're two in, so I imagine this is the new Wednesday filler, right? That's how they do it with all their new mm-hmm. Disney Plus series is every Wednesday. It's kinda like it's kinda like how HBO used to rotate that Sunday nine o'clock spot, right? right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if yeah. you get the drones for this time, then it would be, you know whatever for this time and then whatever for this time so but hawkeye y'all so next wednesday we'll see what happens with that one um what else did i watch um i started watching f is for family i don't know if you guys have ever seen this series you know i've seen it i've seen a couple episodes yeah so like bill burr is absolutely (laughs) hilarious to me right and it's kind of (laughs) kind of like a semi-autobiographical semi-autobiographical uh telling of his life right um, and season five released recently, and I started watching some of those today. Um, funny show, man. Funny show. Um, but if it's for family, uh, like I'm still kind of in, I'm still kind of like in the documentary phase or like the the you know who done it type stuff. Like there was this right. there was a show called uh, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, Accident, suicide, or murder is the name of it. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. So they'll, they'll show a story, right? And almost always it starts off as accident or suicide, but you better believe it's murder in the end. Like, <laughs> like, <somebody, laughs> right. like right. there was only one, there was only one that I've seen so far that was an actual suicide, but they still tried to bring the husband up on charges for murder, but then it got determined right. it's an actual suicide. Where, well, uh, where's that one at? I'm, I'm interested. Uh, man, what did I watch it on? I think HBO, Hulu. I think it was, I think it was Hulu. Oh, I, man. I, I, I got, I got rid of it. I know, I know. Oh, I, no. I, I, I gotta look it up. Got but the it was it, pluses. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, um, uh, where is it streaming? Well, it sounds interesting. Like, I, I would, I would actually uh, watch that one. Like the one with the cats on Netflix, where I didn't see that one coming, where it was going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't mess with cats or whatever it is. Yeah. Like those documentaries be have me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> right right yeah this one was hulu ryan so uh, ah it's hulu so mm-hmm. yeah I'm, I'm sure i'll pick it back up like once solar opposites comes back or somebody like that i'll probably pick Hulu back up but i got too many streaming services There's solar, so many of them. solar <sighs> opposites I, I saw this the other day solar opposites has like a special like i don't think it's like a, a christmas, christmas one yeah or something. yeah i saw on there i was like oh, i gotta watch that because <laughs> i know i like <laughs> i like the first two seasons i saw i was like i gotta i gotta check that out so um but yeah that's that's pretty much it for me i haven't i haven't been playing any games really um at all like i said because i i just wasn't feeling good so it was just a matter of you know tv watching me didn't do any studying didn't do any of that um, i know well, well, i know well. i know <laughs> well, well, well. Look, if i was if i was falling asleep just watching tv you better believe that would have put me to sleep faster i'd have been like oh, right no. right <laughs> <laughs> and not immediately you know what i, I mean know. But, yeah but um yeah that's, that's been pretty much it for me i mean it was it was thanksgiving i mean did you guys have a, a happy thanksgiving yeah yeah uh so i'm, I'm away from family but they yep. did um yeah. uh, a thing at the job they did a thing uh with just my work center uh I, there was a brunch uh so i just been eating there's another brunch today and by the best believe i'm be at that brunch <laughs> <laughs> right right <laughs> but yeah i, I did a, a whole bunch of hopping between houses Mm-hmm. I was I was lazy this year, so I got some uh, ordered some food uh, for Thanksgiving from our local restaurant here, which is, is I felt good about because we get to support some of the restaurants. I know restaurants maybe you know may or may not be doing that well right now with the COVID and stuff going around, but uh, so it was good to get a nice order from them. They actually gave us we didn't expect that we you know we ordered the food and we got like a, a whole turkey, uh, entire turkey, and then um, a bunch oh. of sides uh, for just the two of us really, <laughs> but. Uh, Yours look, that looked pretty good. I, you said that yeah. spread. I was like, man, that looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That thing was... Good. Look, look, I was doing, I was doing a little. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of cooking this year, right? Like usually, yeah. usually I don't go in the kitchen at all, right? The, right. The agreement is my wife cooks it, I eat it, right? Mm-hmm. But, but the first, the first game they played this year, the first half of that game was awful. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go help cook some stuff. <laughs> I went upstairs and helped me cook. So like that's when I was sending those pictures and whatnot yeah. in, the, in the in the chat. Um, I was like, oh look at you, look at your boy, you know, doing a little something. You Get know your apron saying? on and everything. Yeah, you know, I have my, my <laughs> Superman apron on. You know what I mean? I was doing a little something. You know what I mean? The, the wife appreciated it, so I was that's like, good. Right, you happy? I'm happy. And then and then when you sent yours, I was like, man, I look real good. <laughs> right, like, right. They didn't do you wrong, but they didn't do you <laughs> wrong at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Save us some of the time and the effort and the dishwashing and all that kind of stuff. We yeah. just like had everything ready for us and picked it up. And uh, you know, we warmed up a couple of things before we had to eat, but it was it was all good. It was it was it was delicious. And we still have obviously we have a bunch of leftovers. We got turkeys for day for days. We're gonna probably have some turkey sandwiches for the rest of the week and I don't know what else we're gonna make out of turkeys. Uh but uh yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. We had a good Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Pretty chill. Got the um, video chat with my moms, and we actually—it's so funny. We video chatted for like six six hours of video chat. Like I was like, "Damn, oh, wow. it's, <laughs> it's like a long call." But uh, it's good to chat with moms. I haven't talked to her in a little while. At least video chatting. I, I mess with her, message her every now and then, but don't get to chat with, talk with her, uh, and see her face all the time. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, it was a pretty good Thanksgiving. I'm gonna chill out, kind of relax, relax on the couch, play some video games. Wife's been listening to some audiobooks. Um, like I said, I've been playing the Halo, I've been playing some other games, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, yeah I can't complain. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, so what I do. So yeah, I was doing the, the hopping between houses. So that was good. I made a ham first time. It actually turned out oh, pretty nice, good. Nice. Yeah. Dang. Um, what else? Uh, Bill's one. So, so <laughs> that was also great. <laughs> yeah. I did not see it though, because I was, I was very asleep. Like, the game didn't start to like three, four o'clock in the morning here. So right. I, I caught the, I yeah, caught the very was, end. That was, yeah. the, that was the late game here. So like I knew that was going to be like early in the morning for you mm-hmm. man yeah they, they took care of business man they took care of business yeah we mm-hmm. we rebound really well now let's see what happens next game we just, we just mm-hmm. like man <laughs> did you see last game though <laughs> man <laughs> we did it back then um yeah but uh i watched a lot of stuff so i marathon uh arcane on uh netflix oh really i want to check i put that in my queue uh, it's uh it's it's based upon uh league of legends stuff i never played games I don't know anything yep. about league but uh, okay. this this show was all, like really really good. Like um, I usually don't like the the CG type animation or cartoons, uh, but it's like it's done so well. It's like painterly. It's like they it's like a moving oil painting or whatever. Like mm-hmm. and just the the story and the characters. So I went back to work and I talked to uh, my coworkers. Like I was like, is this what League of Legends is like? I need to get on this. And they're like, no. Right. <laughs> like, I was like, no. We got none of that for a decade. Like all that stuff is lore you have to read about or you have to go find. It's not yeah. baked into the game. The game is just the game. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now Riot um, develop- developers are now making TV uh, series out of the characters and whatnot. And he did a really good job. Like I, mm-hmm. I was so hooked. I just marathoned the whole thing. I think Damn. it was like 10 episodes. Uh, so I yeah. watched over two days. So that was good. Um, uh, caught up on Invasion, uh, which is an alien um, show on uh, Apple Plus. Um, it's, it's finally getting to the point where it's it's not a slow burn anymore like before like like is it aliens is it not aliens like of course it's aliens like it's alien like <laughs> stuff is happening right so finally it's out in the open like they're actually showing the big bad like you can actually see the aliens on the screen and whatnot mm-hmm. um so like everybody's on board now and like uh it's a, a three or four different stories that intertwine with one another um now they're starting to run into each other like uh they're starting to actually meet up with one another not knowing that they're all part of a, a bigger story so it's, it's actually, but that's like, I think one episode eight, maybe. So it took a long time to get there. Um, but Damn. it's very slow burn. Um, yeah. Shannon's shaking his head like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's for you. Because wow. like, you, oh. you're like, these are obviously aliens attacking us. Like, why are you not like, oh, it's terrorists. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like no. I think so. Um, I can't, I can't, I just can't wait that long though. That's the it thing. took a long time to get there. I'm, I'm not going to put in that time. I'm not going to put in that time because the, I automatically think the juice is not going to be worth the squeeze at that yeah. point, right? Like you're, mm. you're talking about like it's eight episodes in. Don't tell me this is like a 10, 10 part series. But like, oh, I just got yeah, that's, that's what that's what that's what I'm like. They feel, I think they're 45 minutes. So it's probably only going to be 10, 10 to 12. Mm. It took forever to start it. Uh, uh, the tightest stuff together. The characters are enjoyable, but there's a, a certain group of characters they focus on. I just be like, yo. This dude is the worst father of all time. <laughs> he's worse than Goku. He's he's bad. <laughs> this dude is terrible. And I'm just like, every time they go back to him, I'm just like, I'm just not interested in this this story arc. Um, but it's not about him per se. It's about his his uh, estranged wife, and it it's good way the way that they they kind of shape it around her. But he's just such a bad dude. It's just like yo, just mm. leave him for dead. <laughs> right. Like, why do we still care about this person? Um, there's another show I watched too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, most importantly, I finally got that, that Ghostbusters. Oh, uh, yeah. So that. That? Ghostbusters that? Afterlife yesterday. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know how it's going to rate. I didn't watch any reviews or anything like that because I wanted to spoil it for me. Um, because it's like it's been like 30 years, right? Mm. So like I remember one and two pretty well from my childhood because it's like something I grew up with. Like, so the first one came out in 84. So I saw it a f- you know, year, a f- years later. Uh, like I'm like five or six when I finally saw it. Um, but the second one came out in 89. I remember that one very well. Um, and this one is a direct sequel. So anything in between, retcon it. doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Um, and it focuses on one particular Ghostbusters family. And I, I thought they did a really good job. It is kind of slow at the beginning because they're not in the city, they're like in Oklahoma. So it, it definitely, uh, 
it, it develops their characters pretty well, I, I like to say, um, before it gets into the, here's the, the backstory that fills in this story type situation, because they don't really know their lineage is the, the whole thing. Like they're learning it through finding artifacts. Right. So, so I, 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 I liked it. And then it has two post-credit scenes. Uh, one is a deleted scene from Ghostbusters, the original. Uh, oh, wow. So when I went and watched the Easter egg, because I, I thought it was something that was already in the movie. I was like, I just don't remember that scene happening. And then in the Easter egg, they're like, no, this is a deleted scene that you only find on the DVD. And they used it as a post-credit scene to develop the what could potentially be in the sequel. I was like, oh, that's hmm. hot. That's, that's pretty cool. And then there's another one that develops a character from the Ghostbusters. And I, I watched a few Easter eggs on it and people didn't like it. And I'm just like, I don't know. I say that for a different <laughs> show. Like, you should like this. <laughs> right. Why are you hating on this particular character? I don't get it. Uh, but it's, uh, oh man, Ernie Hudson. What, uh, what was the character he played? I can't remember his name. Uh, he's, the, he's, the, he's not a scientist, but basically like- Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. He was the last one to come in. But they developed yeah, him very know. well in this movie for what the sequel could be. You're just like, oh, okay. And then other people are like, no, nah, I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you hating on, why are you hating on Ernie Hudson? <laughs> <laughs> so- uh, I, I thought it was pretty good though. Like I, I would say if you're a fan of the first two, then this one is, it's kind of, it has, you know I mean? It's, it's eighties hokey sometimes, uh, because like, uh, some scenes are like, um, shot for shot. Like this is how we introduced like slime or protoplasm in the first one. This is how we introduced in this one. It's very similar. And, but you got to remember those movies were really corny, um, mm. back in the day. So it's, it's same, same, but I, I liked it. Yeah, I get a solid. Check it out sometime. Yeah, give us solid. I mean, the, the tra- I mean, I, I, I gather that it was, it was, you know, like what you're saying, like it was around one person or whatever. But like when you see the trailer, like in the trailer, they show at least three of them, and you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to spoil it or anything like that because yeah. I didn't. A lot, of, a lot of them are related though. Like they do. Okay. There are some characters who are not part of the family, uh, which are shown kind of like the next generation of potential Ghostbusters, but. Three of the characters you see in the trailer are mother, son, and daughter. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. got you. Okay, yeah. So, but I, I, again, I thought they handled it really well, I, and even the special effects, like they, they use some special effects from two, they just modernize them so they don't look like what you would think they would have turned it into. Like they try to stay with the original as much as possible because mm-hmm. uh, well, the, the, right. the, the director, technology, the technology they're using is from that one, right? Right, like, right. Like, so you yeah. see, you just like. I dig it. <laughs> mm, right. Like when they capture the ghost with the with the proton pack, you're like, they could have made it different, but now they're like, no, we're gonna just we're gonna polish off what we used back then. You're just like, oh, okay, I, I I liked it. Um, but uh, I was about to say something. I forgot what it was. Um, I don't know, but I I would say if you like the the first two, then it, you'll you'll definitely like this one. Uh, as, for the nostalgia factor. But I, I wouldn't go out of your way. Like, if you had to pick between this and Spider Man Two, or Spider Man uh, Homecoming, or or what is it? No Way Home. Well, uh, no way. No, no, no. This is, no Way Home. This is uh, Far From Home. Yeah. Is it Far From Home? Or no, no way far, home? far From Home is the second one. This one yeah. is No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to pick between the two, like you can only pick one one movie this fall, then go with Spider Man. But if you if you got some time, I say uh, check this one out too. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah, I'm yeah. just I'm just now catching up to watch Eternals. So like I got a date with the wife tomorrow to go watch Eternals, or later on the day actually. Now I'm inside gotcha, right now, gotcha. but we're gonna go see Eternals. So um, I'm already behind on that one because that dropped the beginning of November, right? Like November fifth or something like that. I'm three weeks late, mm-hmm. but um, so we're gonna hit we're gonna hit that up. But I do plan on seeing Spider Man. Like I was I was telling you guys. I watched Spider-Man 2 just yesterday or the day before. One of those two days, I was like, okay, let me let me see if I can remember where we're going to pick up from when we go to this next one. Um, right, cause right. It, and after watching the second one, I think they're going to pick like right up. You know what I mean? Because remember yeah. the second one, I mean, no, no spoilers here. It's been out for a couple of years now. But in the second one, he got exposed at the end for who he really yeah. is. That's how they ended it, right? So there's mm-hmm. like a scene in the trailer where like, I saw a new trailer yesterday. There's a scene in the trailer where I'm like, okay, I think this multiverse thing is gonna like play out really well, like really mm-hmm. well. There's a, new, there's a new trailer out where it's showing yeah. all these villains from the different 
universes yeah. that are not the one that has uh what's the actor's name tom holland in it right current spider-man mm, right i'm like oh. right I'm like, oh man! I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, and like he doesn't, right? He doesn't know who those people are. Like he says it in the trailer. He's like, I don't know who these people are. And, and Doctor Strange is talking to him, and you're just like, oh, this is gonna be great. Like this is where this is where I hope they're going because like you could open it up for so much more. Like Loki, mm-hmm. Loki opened the door for this with the whole multiverse thing, right? Like they just open yeah. the door up for it, and they're just gonna walk through, and they're gonna take advantage, and they're gonna they're gonna take even more of my money. I'm just gonna be throwing. It <laughs> like, hey. Don't you see me throwing cash at your at your glass here? Like, give me a ticket. Yeah. Right, <laughs> <You know>? right. <laughs> yeah. they, and they have different points now, right? So, like, uh, when we watched yeah. Hawkeye, Hawkeye showed the the. Uh, I, I don't think it's a spoiler, but like, because they keep going back to 2012, right? The Battle of New York. Yeah. Um, but they show it from a different angle. You get that yes. that nostalgic feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even though it hasn't been around, like it has been around for like a decade. But like yeah. when uh, when he pulled the bow back, I was like, I got I got tingles. <laughs> yeah. I got tingled. But you've seen it from a different person's perspective, right? So you're just like, yeah. oh man, that's hot. And then uh, uh, now we'll have the multiverse pinpoint. Like you, every time you're watching the show, or no, I'm sorry, before then, you'll have the uh, the snap. Like every now and then, the sh- a show will show a different perspective from the snap. You're like, oh, okay, that's, that's hot. Uh, either people coming mm-hmm. back or people vanishing. And now you'll right. see that gold flash and yeah. something will change. And you'll be like, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> right. So I'm like, okay, I, I like yeah. it. I like, like Captain Kevin Feige is a genius. Like that dude cannot leave uh, Disney ever. Like, <laughs> I, I, think they'll, I think they'll pay him whatever he wants at this point, right? Yes. Like all right. Because just blockbuster after blockbuster after blockbuster at this mm-hmm. point, you know what I mean? Like they're like, I'm fairly certain all these TV shows have, have their subscription base just climbing every time a new one yeah. comes out. You they, know they all work so well. Like, cause I, I'm not a Hawkeye fan uh, in general. But this show is really pulling it off for me. Like I was mad that I couldn't watch because because they dropped the first two and I'm I'm still in the marathon mode. I want to go watch the third one. Very disappointed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like there's no third one. Ah, oh, right. I know terrible. they leave that terrible. cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> but like just the way they're inter- they're intertwining so much of the MCU because like when I think a Hawkeye, I think B tier, right? Like we talked about this. Like I'm not like once you start introducing gods and you know I mean craziness. It's like the B tiers is like meh, but uh, the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, like they're all like sometimes they they feel like they're better than the uh, the bigger bigger uh, shows and movies because you you really get to see the world from their perspective. So I, mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, like that that first scene in in Hawkeye did it for me. Like I was hooked. I was like, yep. <laughs> and yeah. she's walking around with the the uh, no cut shot, and you can see the battle from her perspective. I'm just like, oh. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely down. Yeah, yeah, I like how they did that. It's a good, good series, and I think uh, uh, I like the random. This is a random uh, part of this the the series where she was doing the um, I guess like sword fighting. or was like a uh, what do you call that sport? Oh, the fencing. I can't think of the name. The fencing. Yeah, she's fencing with the guy, and then like all of a sudden the the guy got serious. <laughs> it's like oh. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, okay. Well, he's got some secrets. Uh, <laughs> but that was that was pretty cool. But I'm yeah, I like to the setup. It. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely gonna be something we were not expecting, uh, mm-hmm. which I appreciate. And then just to go back into the lore, like again, like they have like a big bag of things they can go back to. Like when they're doing an auction with his with all the gear, you're like, man, there's a, a lot yeah. of stuff here. Right. Yeah. That's good. It's, it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, but that's like, like one thing that I thought was, I, I don't know why I thought it was corny, but like the name of the gang is the tracksuit gang. It's yeah. like, <laughs> so they, they said they call them in the comic though. Like, I, I didn't want Did I didn't okay. comics, but okay. in the comic, they're called it like the tracksuit gang or right. tracksuit thugs, whatever. I was like, that's two, that's two on the nose. <laughs> it's on the nose, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. The tracksuit gang. Okay. The tracksuit gang. Track yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. Too. I, I was joking with the wife, like, it's about the same thing. I was like, look at all these track suits, right? Here. <laughs> all these red track suits. Right. Right. Remind me of GTA 4, remember? Uh, when he right. Gets off, uh, the ship, and he's got the track suit on. Right, right. But uh, yeah. a- another question that had me, uh, not to belabor Hawkeye too much, but who is his wife? Like, she has to have been um, in either involved or like her lineage has something to do with other characters. Because, like, when he's having a conversation with her, she seems to be in the know. And she was in the know before, like, in one of the movies, he was talking to her. 
can't remember which movie it was, but all the Avengers came to the ranch where he lived at. It was Ultron. She knows a, it was, yeah, she knows a lot. Like, and then she talks about like, oh yes, uh, uh, like a technique for my dad or whatever. Like, who was her dad? Like, there's mm-hmm. a, a lot happening there. I'm just like, that's interesting. Hmm. I never thought about it too much. I didn't, yeah. I didn't either. Because she said something in the movie too. And I was just like, who is I just, she? I just know he always, he, he seemed to have told her everything, right? Like, like his, the fact that he had a family was the big secret, right? I right. didn't know anything about it. I think, I think it was Age of Ultron. Right. But, and she, she's Ultron, too, Ultron handed she's them cool. their butts. And they yeah, had to go she's to the she's too cool with him just disappear, disappearing and saving the world, though. Like, there's something there. Like, it'll, I don't know if she'll reveal it in the show or it'll pop up in a different movie, but there's some other character is going to be revealed through her, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that yeah, is kind of look. I was trying to look up to see if there's any info on the web. <laughs> no, no. I mean, like, oh, like right. Kev, well, Kevin Feige, he, he misdirects, though. Like, maybe, uh, right. She's retired, or maybe her dad was like <clears throat> an agent of Shield or some sort or something like that. But I, I, I like all the lore that they they lace in there, so I think that's pretty good. Um, aside from that, I played uh, Halo, so I'm not in it as much as I would like to be in it because I feel guilty every time I pick up the sticks. Come like I should be studying for cloud. I should be studying for cloud. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump on that Hell today. Yeah. Oh, and I've been uh, conquering these uh, PDUs for PMP. So uh, we, mm-hmm. we all have a mutual friend, uh, Rashawn. He put me on to um, projectmanagement.com or .org. Uh, and from there, you can watch webinars to help you with your PDUs because I was sorely lacking. So I'm all PMP'd out. I think I'm almost done with my uh, requirement for the three years. Nice. Yeah. 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 That's just Knock that back, out. back-to-back webinars. So yeah. But I need to jump on because my my goal was to take my cloud cert before uh, Christmas. But I'm like, it's getting kind of close, so I'm not sure. Right. Yeah. 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 I need to keep up with mine for uh, I got like a sec plus with with uh, CompTIA. Oh. Okay. But I think I'm I think I'm I think I have a couple of years left before I have to re re up. But uh, yeah. yeah, I always find something. That's not somebody. Like, I was like, man. Hmm? Yeah. I was gonna say I always find some sort of like I don't know some uh, uh, training modules or something like that I can right. use to like get through it or whatever. But yeah, uh, I'll take care of that later. <laughs> I'll yeah. be lazy about it and last minute find some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I saw on the coworker man that the text to keep up with these things is, is getting kind of brutal. Like right. so, I right. began the year with CCNA. <clears throat> I did that one for free, but it took me almost a month to complete everything I needed to complete to uh, to renew it. And then uh, EC, EC console is going to want their pound of flesh for my CH uh, in a year and a half or so. Um, so not terribly worried about that one yet, but SysP, um, I had to uh, do a bunch of stuff. Uh, what I do for SysP? Uh, a lot of it was my WG classes. They took them as uh as hours so i broke it down to hours uh, what what i learned and and what domain it fell into so that kind of worked yeah. out in my favor but then you got to think the amf is 125 every year so my employer paid for that one but they didn't pay for the sec plus net plus i had to come out of pocket for that so mm. like uh, i renewed my sec plus and net plus with my sys p but i started to pay right so now i paid money for that uh and now pmp uh i don't even know what i can't remember what the maintenance fee is that's due next summer and it took me uh, three weeks, three, four weeks to knock out all the PDUs I should have been doing over the past two years. Mm. So like, wow. it's taken a lot of effort, like, which yeah. is good because it keeps me sharp. But at the same time, like, a lot I'm of like, work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, do I really want to keep this stuff? No. <laughs> you, start priori- you start prioritizing, like, what am I going to let slip? <laughs> like, yeah, man. right, right. Like, like which, which ones do I really need? I really want. It's, it's getting yeah, rough. It's, it's hard work, though. I mean, it's it's good to have those things, though. I mean, it's great to have add that to your resume, especially when you you know when you get out, you're gonna have extra yeah. uh, extra certifications and stuff on your resume. But uh, I know it's hard work to keep track of them. I have a hard time, hard enough time just doing one, like with the uh, Sec Plus. And then you know I got some other ones at Microsoft stuff that I have to like keep up with yearly. But right. um, uh, but besides that, I mean, I think a Sec Plus and things like that, we have to get the CEUs or the uh, continuing education type stuff is normally more uh taxing i think than some of the other requirements sometimes you yeah. might sometimes you rather like just take the test again a certain test like you might, might you feel like yeah i'm rather just take a test and try to do all these ceus again and like right try to, right 
like I, I think I, I think I will for the ISC squared. I think I'm gonna hopefully work my way up to um, uh, the thing is CCSP, the Certified mm-hmm. Cloud Security um, Professional, because then that would yeah. that's lateral, that right? Would, so that would knock it right, out right. for me. But it's hard to squeeze that stuff in when you have to keep up with stuff from before. So mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So luckily, I don't have to take any more classes, like classes, classes, because I'm not, I'm not going for that doctorate. So, mm, right, wrap it up. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's good stuff, though. You, you're doing good, man. It's, uh, you know, keeping up with those uh, certifications and and uh, I don't know, planning for your escape from the from the military lifestyle. Yeah, man, it's right around the, right around the corner. Somebody asked yeah. me. So if you watched the last episode of uh, Ask Us SP, he, he asked me a very point, pointed question because uh, uh, he thought I was out. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, you have you have too much trains of thought. Like when you're doing an interview, you're, you're trying to stay ahead because you're just like, I need, what, what, what may he ask me or what may I be able to pivot this to? And then you're trying to be behind, like what has he asked me? So I'll repeat the same material. But then he mm-hmm. caught me <laughs> right uh-huh. there. Because you, you don't want to talk about getting out too much. Uh, Cause you, uh, I might stay in, you never know. Uh, as well as a uh, current employer might be like, mm, he's talking about getting out a lot. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. But he, it was like, Doop. I was like, uh, so I was honest. <laughs> so, no, that was good. You gotta be honest. I'm nope, still in. And this is my, 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 you know, roadmap and yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. But it was a good one. It's a, it's a good, it's a good interview. Uh, it's with uh, Jarvis Bryant. He's a uh, active duty army. He's, he's uh, on his way to, uh, to getting out. So he, he's pursuing, um, Sec plus, he's a logistics guy by trade, so he's trying to uh, mix it mix it in with the signal guys, so he can start prepping for some stuff that he wants to do. So I thought it was pretty good. I don't actually have anybody scheduled for this week, so hopefully I get somebody before <clears throat> Tuesday because I need to produce it and whatnot. So hmm. there is that. Yeah, yeah. See who you can uh, who, who you can rope in. I know uh, uh, Aisha was like, you can call me, you can call me like last second and <laughs> I'll show up. No, I hate doing that. I hate doing that. <laughs> yeah. Plus, plus yeah. uh, she's on the other side of the firewall, right? So we, we have her on, on, on this show, but the uh, ask assist piece for people who are trying to break in and whatnot. Right. That's so, true. So some people are really, like very like, they'll hit you up. And other people, you got to kind of like, hey, you guys have questions? You want to talk about this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Right. But cat and mouse game. So I'm, I'm sure I'll get somebody. If not, then it'd just be me, solo dolo, talking about something. Mm-hmm. So we'll see it's how all good. Goes. People like people like looking at you. Yeah. It'd be all good. <laughs> people like listen to you. No, it's all good. Yep. Yeah, so uh, uh, we have a couple guests I want to line up uh, to bring on before the holiday, uh, but then we'll go offline. Um, I think we'll record December nineteenth. Uh, that'll get us through Christmas. Um, and then we'll be off until the 10th, I want to say. So like a good two weeks. Uh, and then I'm going to take those interviews and, and break down the Q&As and push those out as videos throughout the week. Um, so I'll start stacking those now. So that way I don't have to do much during the, the holiday, but hit the, the publish button. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. So that's yeah. The, the game plan. Yeah. But Okay. I think, I think that pretty much wraps this one up. So thank you for all those out there uh, listening. Thank you, LeVon. Thank you, uh, Shannon. Uh, please continue to like, share, subscribe. Um, hit us up throughout the week. Uh, again, Monday, Tuesday are topics. Wednesday's discussion. Thursday's Ask Us SP. And then Friday is everything else. Um, you can hit up the website, www.theothersideofthefirewall.com to get to all our socials. Uh, you can hit me up personally. I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Clubhouse, and TikTok. And you, LeVon? Feel free to hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Maynard. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care.